so here wherever i get minus a minus b means a is brother of b that means a will be a male person and he is becoming a brother to b and here i don't know what is the gender of b it may be a male or a female even if it is a male or a female i don't know it uh, he, this b a will be becoming a brother to b so here i know only a's gender a will be a male person and he is becoming a brother to b right so we have got all the diagrams for all the relations so we will apply all the relations to this symbols if to for, uh, solve this kind of problems we can go as i have told you we can go in two methods we will discuss all the two methods you can make your own chance uh, own choice which method you can choose right so we will solve what kind of method we can solve actually right so first first of all mainly focus on the question what he is asking what is the relation he is asking us to find out show me the following means uh, that means which of the following means that t is a daughter of p we have to show the equation which gives t is a daughter to p as it is an online examination coming to the online examination you may not be able to see always that means you may not be able to go back to the question always and check back to the options it is difficult so wherever you are you are writing this kind of symbols work there itself just write what is the main question i have to find out here the main question what you have to find out is t is a daughter of p t should be a daughter to p that means t should be a female person i don't know whether p is a male or a female because he is not asking what is the gender Oh, oh, he is not asking to find out what is the gender to p right so we have to only find out what is the gender of t and t should become a daughter to p so i am making a representation logical representation so that only by focusing on that logical representation i can solve them very easily what is that logical representation is like p should be a parent whether it may be a mother or a father because he says like t is daughter of p that means t will become a daughter to p even it is a father or a mother t will be a daughter so i don't know whether this parent is male or female so t to t uh, to p t should be a daughter so t should be a daughter right this is the logical representation that means this is the question i have to find out just keep this question this just keep this logical diagram in your mind you are able to solve them very easily right so we'll see how fast we can solve this questions in two forms right if we go for a two alternative methods like uh, one is the easier way and one is the time taking process you can choose which is easier for you in both the methods like we'll see first method in first me first method we are applying all the logical diagram which we have already learned before so we have to take consider each and every option and make a different logical diagram for that and if we are getting a conclusion that t is becoming a daughter to p then that option is selected as your answer so that is the first method which will take a long time but anyways i'll help you even with that method some persons may be very feeling very easy with that method so you can even go with the method one so we'll see i'll just take one or two options and you can try for the option c and d right so i'll see i'll go with the option a actually what is the option a p into q percentage r plus s minus t this is my first option so i have i am just taking all the relations all the relations for the symbols and i am applying here so that i'll get whether i don't know whether i'll get that relation that question or not but i'm just going through right so i'll be solving with the point to point as we know 
multiplication or cross represent a wife relation and we have already discussed who is becoming a wife to whom that means this is called as a this is called as b for the first symbol we have to consider p will be a and q will be b right and for the next symbol that is percentage again we have to consider q as a and r as b and next again for this plus symbol we have to consider again r as a and s as b and again for this minus r will be s will be a and t will be b right we should not get con confused with that now, uh, now we'll solve how to solve this actually i have p into q what the relation i got here for into is wife p is becoming a wife to q that means p is wife to q as we have already discussed how i got this diagram there right so p is wife to q and next we are moving to next symbol that is percentage percentage means it is father relation so wherever i get percentage i have to take it as a father that means q is becoming a father to r that means q is a father to r right sometimes in our examination uh, in our main examination here q got q has been become a male person next when we are applying the next symbol again this person will change to female person that uh, in that such cases this answer directly we can cancel because one person for some symbol he can't be a male and for some symbol he can't be a female right so in such cases no need to solve all the full complete equation here itself you can cancel that will not give you a proper answer right so here as it is correct because uh, it has been female before and uh, male bef before and also it is becoming a male again so here q is a male q is a father to r i have done this and next plus plus means it is giving a sister that means r is becoming a sister to s i have told you this is for a sibling relation and next s minus t minus is giving a brother relation that means s is becoming a brother to t actually what is my conclusion what is my question i ha i have to get is t should be a daughter to p t should be a daughter to p here i have given a logical representation with this representation whether i am able to get the gender of this t until and unless i get the gender of the person whom i have to find out in the question then only i i am able to give the relation uh, then only i am able to give the correct answer for the question he has asked right here in the final i don't know what is the gender of t even if t is becoming a child to this couple because i have to particularly know that t should be a daughter to this couple but here i don't know whether t is a male or a female that's the reason i can't give this as my answer students in a confusion they'll give this as answer because they, this will not be an answer e, because i don't know what is the gender of this t i must be knowing the gender of t then only i can choose this uh, option as my correct answer so this option will be chosen as wrong option next uh, we'll go for option b then later we'll go for an easy easy method so let's see what is option c option b p into q percentage r minus t plus s again we'll follow the same method we'll see what is the symbols and the relations then if the answer is correct then we'll get the answer here itself if not we have to move to the next option so as i have cross cross means wife relation that means p is becoming a wife to q q will be a husband and next percentage it is a father relation that means q is becoming a father to r minus minus means again it's a brother relation that means r is becoming a brother to t next t plus plus means it is giving a sister relation t is a sister to s 
this is my logical diagram with this as my question is like t should be a daughter to p so here i came to know what is the gender of t so with this equation i am very con uh, very confirm that t is becoming a daughter to this couple so that is the main question which he has been asked so my option will be my answer will be option b right this is how the long method or logical method will work out actually in coded relations it is uh, best to avoid logical uh, method or analyzing method because in this analyzing method will not work out because we don't know what is this relations actually that means a b c d we can't assume that a will be our mother or a b will be our sister like that so analyzing method will not be useful here uh, and if you go for a logical method also logical method also will take some time now what is the simpler method which by only by seeing the options itself we can give the answer no need to go for all this logical diagram only by seeing the options we can give the answer we'll see what happens with the uh, shortcuts if we go for main points only some main points if you remember it will be very easier for you to get the answer or it is well very easier to get the problem solved in a limited time you have to go with the symbols like how we have done earlier like how we have expressed all the symbols with the relations this should be done if you are familiar with the question no need to go with this symbols and everything you can directly go with this but you have to focus mainly on the question which he is asking t should t should be a daughter to p this should be done uh, this may uh, representation logical representation has to be done only for the question no need to go for the options with this you have to remember that p should be a parent to t whether this parent may be a male or a female that doesn't matter but this p should be a parent to t and next important point is like t should be always a female because she has to be a daughter to p this is the second point and next third very very important point is like in this question we are not bothering about p's gender we are only bothering about t's gender so we are we should be confirm that means in our equation we should know what is the gender of t right so when we are coming to this options wherever the person's gender must be known that person if that person in this options wherever in this option if that person is standing in the last corner that means like for example this option a in option a t is standing in the last right so if any person whose gender must be known whose gender is must to the question for solving the question if that person is standing in the extreme last then that option directly you can cancel it will not be definitely your answer because if the person who is standing in the extreme last we don't know what is the gender of that person that's the reason we should not, uh, it is not uh, uh, if you solve all this equation it is of no use because this person is standing in the last we don't know what is the gender of this last person so that's the reason if the person who gender must be known if that person is standing in the last directly you can cancel that option so you will have n number of options here so option a got cancelled because a t is standing in the last and also in option d it also gets cancelled because t is standing in the last so our answer may be lying between this b and c so we we can just see in this two options only see and even here in this option b and c no need to go for all that logical diagram here itself we can get the answer what we can see see actually this i should uh, for getting a female relation female relation i should either have only plus relation that means if i have a plus relation it is giving me a female uh, relation so wherever i have a plus after t because after t relation only after t whatever the relation uh, whatever the symbol we are giving uh, whatever the symbol we are see and seeing here that represent the relation for the before person that is t here 
here if we see t minus t minus in the sense minus is giving a brother relation that means t is becoming a brother to s actually t should not be a male person he should t should be a female person because it she has to become a daughter to p here clearly it has been given that t is becoming a brother to s so directly no need to solve all this question no need to solve all this logical diagram directly you can cancel this option c as your wrong answer your answer will be definitely b no need to solve all this because t plus is giving me a sister relation even if you solve also this will be your correct answer because earlier we have already solved we got the answer so b will be your correct answer like this in coded relations no need to go for a complete logical diagram only by looking at some important points some shortcut points which we have discussed now if you focus on that shortcut points it is uh, it will just take less than a minute less than a minute you will get an answer for this kind of coded relations generally students used to tell me like uh, uh, this coded relations are taking lots of time even if we use this logical diagram so i hope this shortcut method what all the points we have discussed will help you to get the answer within a minute so you can use this method instead of this long method uh, method one where we have used a logical diagram if some students are very happy to use this logical diagram method you can go ahead with this if you don't remember this points which we have discussed right now so you can go with this or else ma, this will be the best method where you will get the answer within a minute if you remember that points which we have discussed now right next we will move to the direct relations or we will move make some some of the questions we will solve some of the questions in coded relations and then we will go for the direct relation problems